there had been some evidence, especially in earlier periods in Israel for, for beer production using more Egyptian methods. But from you know the Israelite period from the Iron Age, there really wasn't a whole lot of attention to any kind of um, archeological evidence that might inform on beer production during that time specifically. Uh -huh. I do have to mention something having nothing to do with your article, but the 2018 study done by Stanford University that, that found the Natufian uh, beer evidence from like 13,000 yeah. years ago, right? Yeah. So that must be, that, I mean, that supports your work that if there was yeah. beer production 13,000 years ago, and that was the same region roughly, right? Yeah. So there's some, I mean, that research was at Rakefet Cave, and like in the Carmel. And so they were able to find, you know, some, some great evidence for, I believe, malting in some, um, bedrock mortars like mortars that are actually cut into the stone that apparently were used for brewing long before the domestication of barley and wheat which is really cool so i mean it shows that people were actually like you know fermenting um wild grains uh much earlier than anyone suspected so the 2018 study was done more than a decade after your work here with professor homan i mean so it's a really awesome pioneering work Had, what was the reception like on your either the paper itself or, or the article that was published subsequently? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, there's some people who've reached out to us over the years and, and some scholars who've gotten interested in this. Um, there's I mean, the most recent thing I can think of that sort of helps support some of what we were talking about is a study that just came out in 2019, uh, as you're surely familiar with, about um, some Israeli researchers. I mean, starting with um, a couple of biologists in Hebrew who were taking samples of yeast from vessels from different periods and replicating ancient um, alcoholic beverages. So a couple of those examples were Iron Age vessels, including these beer jugs, you know, that we've been saying and, and others have been saying were, were likely used for drinking beer in ancient Israel. And so it, it looks like at least two of them proved, you know, to, to actually have um, the remains of, of yeast that could actually be extracted and studied and even replicated not replicated, actually used to create, from what I understand, a drinkable beverage. 